AOS have slowly become a popular weapon to use in PvP for this season, and there are many to pick and choose from. However, there has been one weapon that has been overlooked but is starting to get picked up by many players, and that is the Firefight Auto Rifle. Today's video will be going over what makes weapons so good as an investment, and what role you should look for. The Firefight is a 450 precision frame auto rifle with some unique stats worth investing in that can't be seen on other auto rifles. For example, the weapon can get an elemental capacitor perk, which tends to be a game changer when being used in PvP. If you select a voice subclass while using the perk, you can get around a 96 stability, which makes the weapon even more stable and perfect for its frame type bonus. Adding fragile focus to the weapon will push its range to 93. Apply them ricochet rounds for that extra bonus in range and stability, or high caliber for that extra flinch it will provide. And then to finish off the hour ahead break to fix its recoil pattern. And then if you go ahead and apply the counterbalance with the following perk, you can then ultimately fix your weapon recoil pattern to a flat 100, making this quite a insane weapon to use. Now that is what I would call the perfect god roll within a PvP environment, as it will be giving you near laser accuracy within its effective range. I would however say that because stats are already pretty good out of the pack, and how crafting this is possible, I would say that instead of having elemental capacitor for the extra stats provided, I would actually go for Adagio with how extremely beneficial it grants your weapon's damage profile. Without Adagio apply and face a max resilience player, it will take your weapon 0.8 seconds TDK to take out a player, and that includes headshots. But with Adagio applied, it goes down to 0.64 seconds TDK, which is quite a jump in damage. Basically, you're going to be going from 32 per headshot applied to a 42 per headshot applied, and with other perks applied and being crafted version, you'll be getting quite a lot of miles out of it. But what about PvE you may think? Maybe you're not a PvP player, and you want to use this for PvE instead. Although the weapon isn't the best choice to pick when a weapon like Rufus Fury exists, it does have some perks to make it viable in this content. For example, the fourth time to charm in its first slot is perfect for refunding your weapon's ammo upon landing position hits, which the weapon's fire rate is perfect for. It also has a base magazine of 34, which is large enough to make this perk work. It's 4 slot, you can go with a Deja still, as the damage buff it provides greatly benefits the weapon, but also it slows weapon's fire rate down just enough to make landing precision hit a lot more smoother. On the other hand, Focus Fury is a good perk to pair with 4th time to charm, as although you will be refunding your ammo on precision hits, it works in your favour once you reach the threshold to activate your perk. In many ways, you'll have this damage bug effect active for quite a bit of time if used against a boss with a large critical spot to hit. As a top contender AR, it is down to you to decide on what weapon you want to use the most in PvP, but Firefight is a sleeper hit in the Crucible that, over time, will get picked up by many. If you love ARs, then now is honestly the perfect time to use them to the fullest. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub right here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.